Australian dollar demonstrated some moderate strength in the early going and actually relative strength compared to most G10 currencies. Overnight, the ASX 200 was up uh, nearing all-time highs once again. Also so, saw some early strength in both iron ore and copper. Um, COVID stats seem to keep a lid on things a little bit with Japan showing a record of 5,200 new cases and also seeing lockdowns in um, Australia and the state of Victoria continue. Um, it needs to be noted that uh, Boone yields hit a six-month low. Um, the NASDAQ hit a record high this morning, and the dollar basically tame uh, against most G10s. Going into the mid uh, to late session, um, Australian dollar gave back a little bit, trading sideways well within its recent range. Some of it was just due to dollar positivity on some jobs numbers. We had initial claims came out, expected, uh, came out a little bit lower than expected, continuing claims better than expected, and looking at PUA filers and uh, initials of filers, um, they dipped ever so slightly. Needs to be said that was offset though by pretty bad trade balance number, much wider than expected in the US, although some are saying that that was kind of baked in given that's back June in the second quarter. Looking at options, uh, September options, I definitely look at the CME Group Seaball tool. Looking at September, the one month uh, curve trading about the 20th percentile and judged by a three month, it's a 50th percentile. At the money, vols and SEP are down ever so slightly. Both the call wing and put wing or up variance and down variance are both down, although the call is down less than the put, so that would put skew higher on the day, which it is. Most of volume clustered on the call side in the 75 and 76 call area. On the put side, it looks between the 72 and 73 put.